Hi there, I'm processing cucumbers for relish in my manual rocket. That's a winder. Back in a little while. And there's some chopped relish. Cucumber for relish, got to put add peppers and onions. back again to the relish and it had um, peppers and all. it was six cucumbers um, and one bell pepper red pepper and one onion sweet onion and I processed all of them in the rocket hand powered pro uh, food processor and uh, mix them up, um, drain them in the stainless steel drainer over the sink. Now they're in this container. I added a handful of coarse salt or pickling salt, which is the um, uh, granulate, big granules. Handful of that, so just enough to fill your hand and sprinkle it over, and then uh, some ice on top of that and this goes in the fridge for 24 hours 18 to 24 hours and then we have to make the pickling solution and do the canning that's where we're at that's all for now be back all right back again this is the uh, um, relish. <laughs> Jeez, brain's not working. This is the relish. Uh, it's been in the fridge for 24 hours. Um, the last thing I did was put a handful of uh, pickling salt and then some ice cubes on the top, a level layer of ice cubes. So it sat for 24 hours. Now it has to get put in the I have a steel uh, sieve with some um, cheesecloth and it has to go get rinsed. I'm going to put you down. So there's that. That now has to be rinsed to get rid of some of the salt. There was quite a bit of salt went into it. And I want to show you what the rest. I've got my canner ready. The um, jars are all sterilized in there. This is the lids. Um, so a chef recommends that you do the lid separately at uh, and no, don't let them get more than 180 degrees Fahrenheit because the seals can get damaged if you do them in the big one. So I'm trying it. I don't, I've never had a problem before, but so these were done at 180 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes, and my jars were done at uh, 210 for 10 minutes. So this is my uh, pickling mix which consists of all these so cinnamon, ginger, celery seeds, mustard seeds, turmeric, cloves or ground cloves, sugar and apple cider vinegar that's my pickling mix and I get my, I got this recipe from the Big Easy Chef uh, on his YouTube channel and also 
I backed it up with Dale Calder's um, hot pepper relish. I used some of the information from Dale's hot pepper relish to uh, put this together. So I'll put links to both of their channels. So the original recipe for this called for 30 cucumbers and everything was matched to the 30 cucumbers so I've downsized it to or oh, more than 50 well 50% 50 from the original recipe so uh, the original recipe called for 10 cups of sugar and 6 cups of apple cider so I've reduced it by half 5 cups of sugar 3 cups of apple cider and then uh, the um, cinnamon and the other spices reduced by half as well so I don't know whether you can see this I guess you should be able to pause this and uh, anyway so I'm ready to this is my pickling mix it's just cooling off having dissolved the sugar and mixing the spices Um, so it actually has uh, uh, three cups of sh apple cider vinegar and five cups of sugar plus all these spices which you'll be able to see on the video anyway <clears throat> so I have to do some rinsing that's the next thing I'll get this rinsed and then I'll get back to you it gets rinsed and it goes back into this container again and then the pickling mix added to it. I'll be back when I've done, done that. So here's the uh, mix back again. That's been drained. Now I'm going to add the uh, pickling mix until it's just about just starting to cover the top. I'm hoping that I get this right. That's why I'm doing it with a ladle and not pouring it. Let it see in. Get it to go in. That's almost it. Too soupy. Oops, I'm not watching. One more. supposed to be just so that it covers just starts to cover all over I'll let it sit for a few minutes and see if that soaks soaks in anyway that's where I'm at next stage once I've got the right amount in um, is to can it is to uh, put it in the jars so that's the next job I'll be back so there's the uh, relish and it's this has got a scale on it uh, half an inch so gives you an idea that's about roughly half an inch from the top it's almost touching not quite that's touching not touching but almost Anyway, get the idea. Excuse my wobbly hand. That's got to have the lids on, and then it's got to go back in the bath. So that's the next job. And once it's brought back to the boil, um, 
it has to boil for 10 minutes and then it has to sit overnight and or sit for 10 minutes in the can with it upraised in the up position there and then taken out and put back on here and let to cool and then hopefully we get seals on everything but we will be back I'm monitoring the temperature it's 161 right now so it's got to get to 210 and then stay at 210 for 10 minutes that's the canning done and the pickling solution that I had left um, I made uh, too much because I wasn't sure exactly how much I would have needed you could probably reduce by about another 10% maybe for those cans so this is my pickling juice I'm going to keep this uh, it's mostly vinegar so um, I'm going to keep it in case I have enough for it to do another batch so it'll go in the fridge that's all I'll show you when the can, when the uh, jars are done Hi there, I'm back again. That's the final result from six English cucumbers, uh, average size, and one pepper, one red bell pepper, uh, large, and one large sweet onion, plus the syrup. So. It's pretty good. And uh, I have enough cucumber still left that I'm going to make some bread and butter pickles, which is a similar recipe. Um, a couple of the ingredients are not in it, though the cloves are not in it. Um, so I will try and do a very short version of that one if I when I pickle that, which will be sometime this week. Anyway, that's it. Six jars. They've all dimpled. Um, this is the, you can see there, they're all dimpled, except for this one. And this is a different lid, it's very thick. I think it's, it does no give in it, so I think it might have sealed, but I'll eat that one first just in case. But all the others have gone fine. So hard to see what it looks like. Yep, anyway. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.